Hey YouTubers, this is Abhishek for the Wheels and Chips and today I'll be doing a short review about how the Witcher 3 Wild Hunt runs on mid-grade gaming laptops or mid-range laptops which are not specifically built for high-end gaming. Yes, this game is absolutely demanding, it is a beast and it is stunning. So uh, let's just jump right into it. And this is the CPU ID monitor and I've uh, intentionally dumped down the uh, CPU's performance to under 1.6 GHz as is visible over here since it's a quad-core CPU dumbing it down to under 1.6 GHz should give us a rough estimate of the 3 GHz dual-core i5 chipsets out there so let's begin and as you can see the initial temperatures are well under 67 or 68 degrees Celsius and uh, yeah this is pretty high because the game is already running on the background or else it would be on the 50 degree Celsius range and our GPU is at again 66 degrees Celsius so uh, let's quickly begin the game and see how it performs The Witcher 3 is one of the most awaited titles of this year and it actually lives up to its hype I mean the game is fantastic look at those terrains look at the detailing and before I jump into telling you what the exact list of settings are or what I've kept it at, I'll let you enjoy these uh, high resolution textures and details first. The terrains, the skies um, and the trees, the entire physics, the way the trees actually move, everything is fabulous. Even though the physics is actually handled by the CPU over here instead of the dedicated physics engine that NVIDIA has. Even though NVIDIA is a partner of uh, this particular The Witcher 3, so uh, I have no freaking idea why they went with the CPU instead of the dedicated GPU physics. But then again, it looks fan freaking tastic. The entire detailing and all, everything is great. It's one of the best AAA titles I've seen. And yeah, which brings the question why the hype? Why did they say that you need extremely high end specifications? I'm actually running this on a dumbed down version as I specified earlier. It's just running at 1.6 gigahertz on a quad core that's basically equivalent to today's. Uh, Core i5 that's running at close to 3 gigahertz, I believe, for a laptop. So it's totally possible on uh, it's totally possible for you to run on a laptop that's uh, hardly having I mean like i5 and uh, GTX 940M. So as stated above, let me quickly dive into the settings to give you an idea of how how good the game actually scales. Let's get to the options the video and the graphics as you can see the frames per second is on maximum the vsync is on and for some reason the witcher is kind of a glitter you don't get past the uh, 35 to 40 fps mark no matter what you do that's kind of the limitation in the game I've tried it on a different system a desktop to be sp uh, to be specific which was an i7 2600k coupled to a GTX 670 that's a desktop grade, uh, kind of like top of the charts before a couple of years. A, a pretty decent GPU that can run everything on Ultra on this game. So even dumbing down the settings, I couldn't get past the uh, 40 FPS cap. To be specific, there's a 38 kind of FPS cap, kind of 38 FPS cap over there. As you can see, uh, the shadow quality is high. The number of background characters are at Ultra. Terrain quality is Ultra as, as is visible over there. And the uh, washer quality is high. Grass density is high. Uh, these things are something that uh, you don't really see a huge difference in uh, the actual visual quality, but then again, the frame drops is terrific. Uh, I get close to 10 FPS drop and I enable everything on Ultra, so I just kept it on high. This is basically very high configuration, even though these are at high, everything else is at Ultra. Texture quality, that really affects how your game looks, so that's at Ultra. Detail level is at Ultra. Let's get to the post-processing bit, that's pretty important. I kept the sharpening to low because that's kind of the opposite of anti-aliasing so there's no point in anti-aliasing if you're going to sharpen it. Moreover, uh, sharpening really doesn't look that visually stunning on a 15 inch display that I'm using right now. So yep, this is running at 768p with motion blur and blur on so you're getting north of 30fps. That's pretty much playable, very good, I don't see any lags. Uh, except for the motion blur and blur part which is kind of odd but then again it gives a cinematic look if, if you're not uh, nauseous nauseous to it. So there you go guys. Pretty pretty darn good. 
So I'm running on an i7 4720HQ in, in, in case you forgot. So uh, this is an Asus A550GX laptop and I have the review for that as well. You can find it at my video list, list or I'll put it in the description on below and somewhere on the screen as well. And um, yeah, again, uh, this, is, this is pretty good stuff. So that's pretty much about the game guys. Um, don't fall for the hype. The game looks fantastic even with medium settings. So if you guys have a laptop that has a Core i5, as I mentioned above, and a GTX 940M or something else, a similar kind of a GPU, just go ahead and install this game. It's totally worth it. At 768p, you can run this at at least medium settings. I'm running it on Ultra. So uh, yeah, it's pretty much playable. Don't, don't fall for the hype that you need the absolute beast of a gaming CPU or a gaming GPU. And uh, yeah, there, there are reasons to it. Even on medium, this is going to look absolutely fantastic. It's like comparing a mobile 13 megapixel camera to a DSLR which has just 5 megapixels. It's still going to look better because the textures, the default textures are so good that even on medium to low settings, they are going to look visually impressive. I highly recommend this game. Wow, look at those glares. The game is damn good physics even if it's running on CPU. It's, it's damn freaking good. And if you guys want me to make a video at 1080p, I'd be glad to do that as well. Just let me know in the comment section down below. And if you guys want me to make a 1080p low settings video versus 768p high settings, please, please do comment down below and do give us a like if you like this video. Uh, so that I know that you guys really want to see that. Because it takes a lot of time and effort to make this uh, in my schedule. So for me to make time for that, uh, I, I really want viewers to to be willing to watch that. Give us a like if you feel that this video is seriously good and the time and effort that went into making this video was worth it. And uh, give us a dislike if you hated this video, if you if you hated the way I presented it. So uh, along with a comment or something else, it lets us know what you guys want or what you guys don't want. So that's about it, guys. Um, yeah, comment down below. And moving on to the CPU ID scores or the CPU ID uh, analysis to check the temperatures and stuff. Okay, guys. Um, yeah, let's move on to that one. So uh, here we are at the CPU ID and uh, maximum temperatures have reached as high as 72 degrees Celsius, which is uh, pretty darn okay. And the maximum fan speed is 3400 RPM. Not that it matters, but it gives you a relative idea of what your maximum fan speed is and uh, why your temperatures are maybe high or low. And the maximum clock speed is under 1.6 GHz. That's pretty good. CPU utilization has been 100%. Uh, it, it's as expected. Come on, it's a huge game. What do you expect? And uh, the GPU's temperature is uh, close to 70 degrees Celsius most of the time. Or at least that's the maximum. So there you go, guys. These are pretty decent temperatures and uh, pretty decent values for a good 35 FPS. Even if the game has been run on pretty high uh, performance mode, the FPS doesn't go a lot higher. It's hardly one or two FPS difference. As I mentioned, uh, it's it's a kind of a glitch in the game. So at 768p, your laptop with a Core i i5 dual core and a 940M GPU should do just about fine on medium to low settings. And if you like this video, please do give us a like. Or if you dislike this video, give us a dislike. That's probably okay. Um, yeah, that's about it, guys. Thanks a lot and sorry for a lengthy video. Uh, take care. Have a fantastic day. Bye.